thoughts as a coaching staff is that it was a, a, a typical tournament game. It was uh, highly intensive out there, and uh, I thought the first period uh, we uh, we weren't as good as we had hoped. A lot of that had to do with the Vermont team, but I thought in the second period we got our feet moving better, uh, did better things in terms of supporting the puck, getting to races, uh, uh, winning races, winning battles, and uh, overall picked it up after that point. Obviously, the power play was was huge tonight and created a lot of scoring chances for us and goals. And in the end, uh, when uh, the game was on the line, uh, we got a big save from Goody with about three minutes to go. And then uh, I thought we did a nice job when they pulled their goaltender and uh, we looked like uh, we knew what we were doing. And, and uh, that's a, a good thing going into further on the playoffs because we have to have that in our repertoire. Um, I think the biggest thing is that we are moving the puck. And uh, we take this uh, little method, I think I've used it a lot, or coaches a lot this way, so I'll take what is given. And I think we, we did that a lot. If they took me away, we went down to Mikey, and Mikey is so talented with the puck, he found Blake, or back out to steps. And I think we just took what was given, and it was, it was good for us because uh, uh, I felt that sometimes they were running around and they didn't know who to cover. So um, I think it worked for us, and uh, hopefully we can take it on tomorrow. Uh, by uh, Jess Myers, Inside College Hockey Dot Com. By the Twig Theory, how much was given uh, Michael on that second goal? It didn't look like you had much to shoot out there, but you found something. <clears throat> well, first was a good play by Steps, just taking behind the net and uh, get back to me. And uh, I mean, I just, I just got the puck and shot it. I mean, I really wasn't even looking at the net, and uh, we had a shot a little bit, so um, just threw it on net. Yeah, I think the biggest thing was just uh, we're getting outworked and losing a lot of battles along the wall. And uh, you know, we talked about uh, getting the puck in, getting the puck out, and um, you know, we, we, we didn't have the support there we needed, and uh, we're losing a lot of battles. And we just talked about that and getting it going a little bit and playing Wisco hockey and dictating our style of play, and, and uh, came back on the second, uh, you know, firing on all sim- cylinders. This is for any of the players. Kevin Allen back with the St. Cloud Times. Can you talk a little bit about was it unnerving at all to kind of wait for that first game to get over with, and then also if you could just address, uh, you know, another matchup with St. Cloud State. Um, yeah, I think it was it was kind of weird. Uh, we were kind of watching the game, the St. Cloud game, wondering uh, who's going to score, and uh, we weren't even dressed by the time. And all of a sudden, they go five minutes, so we had to get dressed in five minutes. So uh, it was a little panic right there, but um, we ended up getting ready and getting out there for warm up. But um, give uh, give Vermont all the credit; they came up really hard. I think we uh, uh, they have a lot of fight in them, and they played well. So we uh, we came up kind of sluggish there, but. Uh, we, we figured out, we settled down, coach told us in, in the dressing room, kind of, let's, let's relax and let's play our game, and we ended up doing that. And for St. Cloud tomorrow, I mean, we want a little redemption. Um, just back here in the building, uh, the Final Five, uh, they ended up uh, taking us, and uh, we were a little upset, so we're going to try to look at video and get back and uh, try to get some redemption. There. Well, their, their play and their game and the results speak for themselves uh, in a big game. played the way they're capable of, and if you're going to win these type of games, your best players have to be your best players, and they were that tonight for us. When you get into, uh, we talked about a lot with the press in Madison, when you get into regional games and playoff games, you're looking at, A, your goaltender, you're looking at your specialty teams, and for us, I think the emphasis is on uh, reducing the amount of turnovers we have in key areas, Um, but the the penalty killing and the specialty teams have been pretty solid for us tonight was an example, but as far as the specifics of your question, um, the the six on five is, is a lot like your your killing of penalty. You, you play a box and one basically, and it uh, looks like a number five. If you were to have a, a piece of dice, that's what it looks like. And when they have control, you play like that. And when they when they lose the puck, you like to pressure as you do on a penalty kill. So, Coach Oz, it's it's, it's we've had. Uh, Practices where we focused on that. So when we get in these situations, it's it's a detail we've covered, and the guys are comfortable with it. Mike, uh, Jess Myers, Inside College Hockey dot com. Uh, the penalties notwithstanding, it seemed like your team played a, a, a physical game tonight. You know, not afraid to to bang bodies and, and stress any size advantage you have. Was that designed? Where you know, was that part of the game you wanted to play? Base of our pyramid is to play hard, and, and, and you've got to give yourself a chance to win when you play hard and playing physical. Uh, certainly, we don't want to take penalties. I, I watched that, that hit on uh, Smitty there in the third period. Uh, 
I mean, the young man was coming up ice. He, he just didn't see him coming, and it was a shoulder right to the front of his face. But with what's going on in, in hockey, you know, they have to call that right now. But it was – the boy was leaning forward, and it was a good, hard hit. And um, Playing hard is part of what you have to do in this game to win. Uh, and as I said, we, we don't want to take penalties, but we want to be on that end. Well, we certainly know what's ahead of us. This is our sixth time playing, and uh, – know that Mr. Lee is playing very well right now. We fired 20 shots in the third period. We couldn't quite solve them. Um, so we know that will be a challenge. Um, it's going to be a great game. Both teams know each other inside out. Power play, penalty killing. Um, know they work hard. Know they have some talented people. Uh, so I think people that are going to show up tomorrow night at the XL Center are going to see a whale of college hockey.